Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, July 21st, and the heat is on here in southeastern Pennsylvania, although I believe the heat is on just about everywhere, so I won't talk about it other than to say it is hot. <laughs> I hope you're all staying cool and enjoying the weekend. So, this video today is going to be a VR of sorts to uh, Eric the Blue Collar Pipe Smoker. And I'm going to just get right into it because I, I actually have a lot to say. It, it's a video in two parts because Eric, being Eric, has given me two different things to, to talk about today. So, before I get into the sort of main reason I, I wanted to make this video, I want to tell you a story about what happened, uh, I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday night. So, I, I don't know if you guys are into Instagram at all. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I, I don't spend you know hours on end on it, but a couple times a day I'll, I'll take a look and see what's going on, and um, it, it you know it's fun. It's fun. I'll occasionally post pictures of, of things I'm smoking or things I'm doing in the shop, and you know, just just a good time. Now last week I think this new phone app appeared. Um, it's it's for the the my phone, the Apple phones, um, you know, the ones that are, uh, they come with a lockdown operating system and all the features that Android had last year, uh, but it tripled the price, you, you know the phones. So they got a new app that uh, lets you take a picture and age it, you know, basically sticks wrinkles on and, and, and graze the hair and things like that. So overnight, my Instagram feed went from picture after picture after picture of guys with beards putting a pipe in their mouth. I'm sorry, guys, but that's most of what I see on Instagram. And I enjoy it, but that, that is most of what's there. Overnight, it went from that to guys with a lot more wrinkles and beards putting pipes in their mouth. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it was a fad. I, I don't know if it's still going on because I haven't looked since. But I figured, okay, I'm just going to put... Instagram away for a few days and I'll come back when this this dies down because I have no interest in playing around with these things. Anyway, then I get a little notification that says, Eric the Blue Collar Pipe Smoker wants you to take a look at something and I, I go and look and Eric, being Eric, made me old. Now, to be fair, he made several folks in the YTPC old. It wasn't, he didn't just single me out and that, that was nice and you know, I guess in part I should be honored that he chose to do it, but, you know, I saw it and my first reaction was, Eric, you son of a... And then I thought, well, no, no, you know, this is a form of flattery. I should, maybe it's funny. I should probably try to find some humor in this and, you know, so... I made a mistake. I decided to show it to my wife. And she looked at it. She looked at me, she looked back at it. And then she looked up at me and said, you really don't look that different. And I thought, Eric, you son of a... So, I was a little annoyed by that, but you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and I went and looked at it again and I thought, well, you know, yeah. Anyway, Eric, I, I want to thank you for what you did there, and I just want to remind you that uh, you're not the only guy that knows how to use Photoshop, and uh, it's really a good idea to think before you click that post button. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's the Italian in me. No, all, all kidding aside, Eric is a great guy, and, and he's hilarious, and, and this this was funny. And, you know, if nothing else, I, I've i been feeling rather old this week because of the back problems that I talk, talked about on Friday. And seeing that picture made me realize that I still have some runway. I'm not done yet. So I I, I appreciated it, and it was flattering that you, you chose to, to, to pick me out there, Eric. But watch your step. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about, uh, Eric made a video, and, and this also links back to Instagram. So Eric posted a picture of some, some very nice pipes that he had, uh, you know, Savinelli's, like a Bing's favorite, a very, very sleek, um, attractive pipes. And I, you know, teased him on that because Eric is known for 
things more like this. Now this is not a custom built, it's, uh, it's the closest thing I own to a custom built, but you know what, what they're like. Um, and this, by the way, is, is one of Danny's pipes, and I am smoking some uh, John Marr from Cornell and Deal, which is a very nice, lightly aromatic blend. Uh, good stuff. So, Eric will normally be seen with a pipe that looks something like this what I like to think of as a big clunky pipe and that's fine they're the custom built makes great made great pipes uh, I don't own any because I don't really like the style that much but um, I've worked on a lot of custom builds an awful lot in fact I'd say probably probably about half the pipes I've worked on have been custom built so they're very very common on the uh, the estate pipe market and people send them to me to get them spruced up. So I've gotten the opportunity to look at a lot of them, to measure them, to replace stems on them, and, and they're well-made pipes. So there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the custom builds. Uh, just not my, my style. Now, the point of Eric's video was that uh, he thinks, and by the way, I'll, I will link down below to, to Eric's video in case you haven't seen it, but he, he believes that it's important that you have some, uh, I believe he called them dress pipes, you know, that you have, should have some, some sleek and attractive pipes to wear when you're going out on the town, uh, when, you're, when you're putting on your tuxedo and, and going to the ball, as he put it. Um, I, I personally don't go to the ball that much, so I don't know that I need to worry about it, but it's an interesting point. I mean, we certainly have pipes that we, you know, beat up. You know, we've got lawn mowing pipes and shop pipes and car pipes and things like that. And then for the most part we've got our sort of everyday pipes that just, you know, the around the house kind of pipes. And maybe we should have a, have a category of, uh, of dress pipes, you know, things that we're going to save for special occasions. And, you know, in a sense I do have some of those, like I have a pipe that I only smoke at Halloween. Um, but that's not what Eric was talking about. Eric was talking about, you know, going out and looking good with your pipe. Well, his argument was that you can't take a clunky pipe into a situation like that. You need something that's sleek and, you know, attractive and all that. And I wanted to show off this pipe that I've talked about before. Um, this is a Tim Hynek uh, pipe. And as you can see, it is definite. It definitely fits the bill for being chunky. It's got this very nice craggy rustication on it. But it is a beautiful pipe. I mean, Tim did a fantastic job on this, and you can see just how gorgeous. I mean, if if I can get this to focus, the there's a ring here, and it's actually a movable ring, so you can you can actually play with it while you're smoking. Uh, and it's in different segments, so you can move some and not the others. I can't do it at this angle. Um, clearly, this is a dress pipe, and it's clunky. <laughs> so, Eric, you don't have to give up the custom builds. You just need to dress them up a little bit. Maybe put a nice silver band on one. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe put a, put a nice uh, brindle stem on it. And you, you could be the talk of the town. You don't have to be sleek. Uh, you, you can still be clunky and stylish at the same time. So that's... Uh, I have something else to say about dress pipes, though. And, and this... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. But I, I do think this could be a dress pipe. But, but I'm kidding. I'm teasing Eric here. But... On the topic of, of having like these pipes for special occasions and all, there is a pitfall in that that uh, you may or may not realize. So, pipes. Pipes are funny. Briar pipes are funny. In that, the way they smoke the day you buy them is certainly not the way they're going to smoke in two weeks' time. That's, you know, a break in thing. But then there's something else that happens, and a lot of people have talked about this. Nobody understands it, but Briar goes through a process as it's smoked that 
changes it in some way, or change the pipe. I shouldn't say the briar, but the pipe. I don't know if it's the cake, if it's... I, I don't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is. But after you get through 75 to 100 bowls of tobacco, a pipe will change, and, and it's a magical change. I mean, the pipe will just all of a sudden become perfect. Uh, or as perfect as that pipe can be. And I, I don't know what it what happens. Now, you can't take a bad pipe and make it good, but if you're starting with a good pipe, after that, that 75th to 100th bowl, that pipe is just extraordinarily good. Um, it happened to me recently, and I've been thinking about it a lot because of this. Uh, I have a Nira pipe that I bought when my wife and I went out to, to California. I actually bought it at, at Kramer's uh, Tobacco uh, just a few months before they closed down. So that was, uh, I think, 2016, if I'm, if I'm getting my dates correct. And I smoke this pipe a lot. You've seen me smoke it. It's the little near up, the tiny little bend. And it's, uh, it's a fantastic pipe. And I, the first bowl of tobacco that I had in that pipe, I thought, wow, I really like the, this pipe. And I was smoking some, uh, some Haunted Bookshop, actually, uh, about a week ago. And it just was better. It just, something had happened at that point, and that pipe had started to perform, you know, like, an order of magnitude above where it was performing before, and it was already really good. So there's something magical that happens when you put a pipe through its paces uh, continuously. Now this pipe, I bought probably 2015, and I have probably smoked it about 10 times, because it's just not, you know, it, it's a very nice pipe, and I feel like I should be saving it for special occasions, but... Uh, well, the other problem is I, I did decide that I was going to keep this as a lot of Kia pipe. I don't know if that was a good decision or not. Well, it was a terrible decision for me because I don't smoke very much a lot of Kia. Um, so maybe I should I should convert it. It would make a nice Virginia pipe, I think. Maybe I should switch over and try that and try to smoke it some more. But the point is, if you're only smoking it when, you, when you're when you going to the ball, uh, again, that's Eric's term, uh, it's it's going to take your lifetime before this gets to that magical point where it's, you know, excelling. And I think that's important. And this is why I advise people to not go crazy buying pipes. You know, you... you when you first start smoking pipes, you should, yeah, you do eventually want to have a seven-day set. I, I get that, but it might you might want to wait five, six years before you have that seven-pipe set. I know that sounds extreme, but the more time you spend with the pipe, the better it's going to perform, and the better you're going to understand that pipe and be able to transfer that knowledge to the next one. So take your time. And I guess if you do have a dress pipe, you want to make sure that it is a high quality, um, good smoking pipe because it's probably never going to reach that point where it becomes even better. Uh, and definitely this Tim Heineck is, is, is a fantastic pipe. I mean, the engineering on it is perfect. I, I love the pipe. I just don't get the opportunity to smoke it very often because nobody ever asks me to go to the ball. Anyway, folks, I, I hope you found that entertaining and maybe a bit interesting. Eric, I hope you don't mind the, the teasing, and I, I know you don't mind the teasing because you dish it out pretty good. So please, if you don't already have a sub to Eric's channel, the link will be down below. You can watch his video, a very good video, on, on this concept of dress pipes. and. Uh, you know, give them a sub. So with that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for this week. I hope you all have a, had a great weekend and have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. So goodbye now.